الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهده ونستغفره Brothers and sisters, I have, uh, I, I promised Brother Tommy, so just in case you don't know, when the clock strikes 8 o'clock, it's all over. Inshallah, I know some of you have been missing that morning coffee and all that stuff. Uh, I'm telling you now, maybe, maybe in the, the month that's coming, stay detoxified. <laughs> Right? Six days, the Prophet said to anybody who follows uh, Ramadan and completes it, you have days that you have to make up, make up those days, and then follow the six days of fasting, it would be as if you fast all year. So you keep the detoxified habit. But I, I want to share something with you just briefly. Right now, there's a lot of what uh, people are calling uh, Islamophobia and bigotry, not only in America, but around the world. I'm going to say something that's going to maybe make some people nervous. But the Prophet said, you're not a believer if you go to bed with your stomach full and your neighbor's hungry. Now you say, Imam, I know, I know that hadith, Sahih. Right now in America, in Europe, the people who use to be on top. The greatest part about the developed West is the phenomenon we call the middle class. Right now, we are experiencing in America and in Europe a vanishing middle class. 85% of all of the new wealth created in the economic boom that's happening in America is going to want the upper 1% of America. I'm sure it's the same in England. Those people who lived in the middle, mostly white people, nothing wrong, I can say white people, it's okay. Mostly white people who have been abandoned in the middle class. Most of them, they own homes. Not like many of us, we live in an apartment. They own homes. The majority of their wealth is in their home. They have been robbed by the Reba Bank International. And so many of them, their homes are what they call upside down. Their company is downsized. They sent the job to Mexico and to China, and it's not coming back. And then they see you and I, and they call us whatever name they want to call us. Muslim, Hispanic, black, anything other than a decent law-abiding citizen. But they're suffering. And if we're not concerned about the suffering of our neighbor, the Prophet said, you're not a believer. Your neighbor is hung, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, and he's angry at the wrong people. You and I, and I'm challenging you today, you have defeated every kind of corruption just by living and practicing Islam, especially in America. Now you got a bigger challenge to leave this jihad, I can say that word in MCC, and go to the greater jihad. The greater jihad is for you, after you leave the month of Ramadan, which was all about you, and how you are gonna get to Jannah, Everything I was spending in the last course, so I get to Jannah. I was fasting so I could get to Jannah. I was doing prayer, I was doing everything so I can get to Jannah. The challenge for you and I now is can we show the love and compassion of Rasulullah on our neighbor who's not only broke, but he's afraid. There's nothing wrong, nothing, nothing more dangerous than a hungry, 
and an angry man. You and I need to leave this place, subhanAllah. We conquered our own personal problems. Now we need to go out and conquer the problem of our, our society. Some of you are smokers. You conquered smoking during the month of Ramadan. Some of you are drinkers. Don't raise your hand. You, you conquered in Ramadan. Right? Some of you, some of you I, got, I got my notes. Some of you are lookers. You conquered in Ramadan for yourself. You know what I'm talking about, the looker I'm talking about, right? right? Some of you were swearers with your tongue. In the month of Ramadan, you freed yourself from that. Some of you were cheaters. During Ramadan, you stopped cheating. Well, alhamdulillah. Now, the challenge is that if your neighbor is not free, you are not free. If your neighbor is not free, you're not free. If you are not concerned about the, your environment that you live in, that uh, aquaponics y'all got going. If you're not concerned about the planet that we're on and the degradation that's going to be left to our children, something is wrong with you, you still hung up. You need to get free. Well, alhamdulillah, you're free. Maybe some of us were standing in the last 10 days. We pray that you were standing in Laylatul Qadr. Allah give you the reward. Laylatul Qadri khayrun min al shahar. It's a lifetime of forgiveness. You're free. Now all you have to do is keep going. Don't stop. Don't let all of your good deeds end when the door of Ramadan closes. Keep the door open. Stay free. Well, alhamdulillah, that you can free yourself. Inshallah, your neighborhood, your family, your society. I want to say one last thing before we close. You're free to vote in America. Those of you who are citizens. If you're a green card holder and, and you haven't figured it out yet, you ain't going back home. <laughs> Suleiman Yang, please make dua for him. He said it's called the myth of return. Right? Your grandchildren are growing up in, in elementary school. You're still thinking I'm the going. You're not. Get you, get, become a citizen and then vote. Vote. Right now, the greatest threat to freedom in America Starts with a T. <laughs> Threat. <laughs> we need you, alhamdulillah, to exert your freedom. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would accept from us all of our deeds. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would cause us at the end of our lives to be able to say, Ya Allah, we are free at last, free at last, O oh Allah. We are now free at last from the temptation of shaitan. Oh Allah, we ask for your mercy and your forgiveness. Allahumma adina fi man hadayt wa afina min fan afayt. Wa tawalena fi man tawalin. Oh Allah, guide us among those whom you have guided. Take us as a friend among those whom you have taken as a friend. Oh Allah, protect us, walhamdulillah. Guard our families, walhamdulillah. Oh Allah, put love between the hearts of the husbands and the wives, ya Allah. Oh Allah, love between the parents and the children, ya Allah. Oh Allah, help us to care for our elderly, ya Allah, because they cared for us when we were little. Oh Allah, help us, walhamdulillah, that we would spread the declaration of Independence, la ilaha illallah, Muhammadan Rasulullah, until it reaches every heart and every home. Amen. Brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum and Eid Mubarak.